welcome to this special edition of the Island Stat Sports Talk. I'm joined by Mia Fischel and Coach Kida. Um, Mia, first of all, congratulations on being selected into the training camp for the USA um, the women's national team. Must be exciting for you, hey? Yes, it is. Very exciting. First call up. Yeah. You've been working extremely hard over the years in the youth and now getting this reward. How much of a challenge personally has it been for you coming from a place like Bermuda, but then being recognized as your talents in, in the U.S.? Um, it's definitely overwhelming a little bit, just knowing like where I come from. Um, not a well-known player, like growing up, kind of just on my own, training hard, not knowing my possibilities, but like always believing that like, um, I wanted to be the best soccer player, best forward. So, I mean, that mindset and every training, every game has definitely led me to this point. I didn't let um, any big names, or like big clubs, like um, let let me hinder my possibility of being on the full national team. So um, definitely rewarding for all the hard work that I've um, done up yeah. to this point. Yeah. Looking at some of the things you, you used to like to do in Bermuda, um, obviously I, I was told that you love fishing. I love fishing. <laughs> I love fishing so much. Is that a relaxation type of thing for you? Yes, it is, definitely. And it's like uh, my dad and I thing together. So I love my dad. He's He was from Bermuda on his side. So um, fishing is definitely in my blood. I, I just went deep sea fishing um, for the first time this year. I caught a 30 pound yellowtail off of California. So um, I love it. <laughs> it's in your blood. It's in my blood, for sure. <laughs> well, I have I have Coach Keita on because um, she she runs the the uh, BFL Academy in Bermuda, um, something that um, your uncle David has been working on to um, give young ladies an opportunity to to play in a structured environment. But um, looking at how things have materialized over the years for you, how do you think the background of allowing you to express yourself has been that dominating force that being allowed to do it in the U.S.? Um, yeah, for sure. Just like at a very young age, just learning just the basics of soccer and which is basically falling in love with the sport. I mean, if you have a good foundation of falling in love with the skill, with the technique and the beautiful soccer that um, BFL has done for these young ladies, it will definitely go far in their game because if if you don't have the passion to play, then it shows in your game. I mean, in my game, like you can see the passion, the fun I still have that came from when I was U8, U9, U10. So it's very important to me and I think for everyone to have a good foundation of passion for the sport and everything else will fall into place. Mm. Coach Kitty, do you have any questions for me? Yeah, unmute your mic, unmute your mic. Yeah. Unmute your mic. Yeah. Unmute your mic. <laughs> All right, my bad, my bad. No, um, you know, I have, have watched me and, um, and of course, you know me. Yes. You know, I, I, I tried, I, <laughs> I did my best. Um, but, um, you know, she has this as her goal and, and she's reached her goal and that's so impressive. Um, at one point, I want her to talk to the players of, of the BFL Academy and our National Academy, you know, to tell them to continue to follow their dreams. So, you know, we have some new nines, um, some new 13s uh, that are just learning the game. And, and it's that passion that I want to bring out of them. So we make sure that during our training sessions, um, it's not all like structure, structure, structure. It's more of them learning the game, understanding the game. Understanding football, you know, we spend a lot of time in ball mastery, and I think that um, more play mastery. Sorry, sorry. Um, spend more time with the ball, doing some fun things, so that they are able to to fall in love with the game. Um, I don't think that our players love the game enough. Um, we're we're getting there. Um, and why I say love the game enough? We need to do whatever it takes to be successful in the game. So I want those girls, I want to get them at a younger age so that they can fall in love with the game. You know, we do battle with the small numbers and we need to get ballers are dancing, ballers are now coming about um, more and more. So getting them to love football enough, I mean, you know, Mia eats, sleeps, and drinks it. And, and it shows, you know, it shows at her game. Um, but, you know, we're coming. We're, we're, we're coming. Uh, we're growing. We're constantly punching above our weight. You know, we played against USA and, and you know, we, we took hammerings, but it was a, a lesson. 
you know, those girls that played at uh, under 17s that lost to the U.S. then turned around and played in under 15s and won the Division Two. So, you know, it's getting the exposure and, and it's just helping us to grow in the game because we don't have enough. I mean, I wish I could be a full time coach i wish i could do this seven i mean i teach my pe classes these children see me more than my national team season they see me five days a week for an hour and a half i see my national team players twice a week for an hour and a half so if i could switch those roles would be great you know but um you know this is where we're at and um we're we're proud i mean amia is is part of so you know we're going to celebrate her as much as 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 we can thank you i appreciate that Mia, what would you say to these young ladies that are, that are working on improving themselves? Can you say that again? I think. Uh, yeah, I've got, I've, got, I've got someone talking in the background. But what would you say to the young ladies who want to achieve what you have achieved at the highest rank of football for themselves? I'd say that it's a lot of hard work for sure. Um, just day in and day out. I mean, I was talking to my dad and like just my family of. Um, how every training I, I came out my best, whether that was club, whether that was pickup. Um, I, I play as if I'm playing in the finals every single time I touch the ball, whether that's um, even by myself shooting. Like I make it game-like, I'm um, very precise, I'm hard on myself, which a lot of people say I'm too hard on myself, but I think that was a big um, reason why I am who I am. And it's just getting me prepared for that moment and uh, in those moments, many people say that they feel the pressure or they feel like they're unprepared. But uh, for me, when people ask, like, are, are you nervous about this big game or are you nervous about playing in front of these coaches for the national team, even with the call for, for the Fullman's national team, um, players are asking me, like, are you nervous? And I'm like, I mean, no, I'm like, not, nah, even though I should be, but I feel like my preparation and um, giving it my all in trainings and every time I touch the ball has um, prepared me for that moment, for that big moment. And every opportunity I had, be that was with U15 um, trainings, trying to make the team, um, going to qualifiers and um, different tournaments for the national team. Um, I feel like every time I got on that field, like I was prepared. I never doubted myself. And there's, there's a big confidence thing that comes with soccer and especially in females. So um, my confidence came from that hard training every time I touched the ball. So I think that's a big um, advice I'd say to young girls who want to be the best is train like you're training in a finals every time you touch the ball. Well, Mia, I do Earl, wish you all come. Okay. Earl, sorry, if I can speak to that. We had this conversation last night and, and she said that every time a football is involved, it's like it's a match. So it's never like, oh, I'm just going to do the motions. I'm just, oh, I'm just going to juggle today. So in the same sense, we talked about the, the men's game. And every time you step on the field is to play your game, to play your hardest and not take anything for granted. So I'm so happy that she gave that advice to our, our young girls because every time you train, you train the way you play. You cannot show up to train and, and just go through the motions and train and expect game day for it to actually happen. Um, so that's like, I'm so glad that she said that because now they're hearing from someone else who is going to be playing at the highest level in female football. Yeah. Um, so thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate that. Well, Mia, we want to wish you all the best come uh, next week in training. And hopefully you do get selected for the U.S. national team and we get to see you on the big stage. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for having me, too. All righty. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks, right, you too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.